almost all living things on the planet depend either directly or indirectly on what goes on in the green leaves of plants. A leaf captures energy and sunlight and uses it to convert carbon dioxide and water into sugar and oxygen in a process called photosynthesis. In the reverse process called respiration, we convert that sugar and oxygen back into carbon dioxide and water, utilizing the energy released to make our bodies work. If you look at a typical leaf, you can identify the leaf stem or petiole, the midrib and veins that give structural support to the leaf and contain the plumbing that transports materials into and out of the leaf, and most importantly, the thin, broad green blade with the tip at the end and the margin around the edges. If you look at a cross-section of the blade under a microscope, you can see a thin, waxy cuticle on the upper surface, along with the epidermis, that together act as a protective barrier, letting sunlight in, but preventing the leaf from drying out. Below that are the palisade and spongy mesophyll cells, containing organelles called chloroplasts, filled with green chlorophyll, where photosynthesis takes place. At a microscopic level, a leaf vein contains bundles of pipe-like xylem and phloem. The xylem transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaf, and the phloem transports dissolved sugars away from the leaf to other parts of the plant. On the lower surface of the leaf, the epidermis has tiny holes in it, called stomata, surrounded by sausage-like guard cells that can swell or shrink, opening or closing the stomata. This allows the leaf to control the amount of water evaporating from the leaf in a process called transpiration that cools the leaf and controls the flow of water and minerals from the roots to the leaf. The stomata also allow the exchange of other gases, letting in carbon dioxide so photosynthesis can take place and releasing the oxygen produced as a result of photosynthesis into the atmosphere. The chloroplasts contain chemicals called chlorophyll that absorb the blue-violet and orange-red portions of sunlight, but not the yellowish-green light. That's why leaves look green. The colours the leaf did not absorb are the ones that reach our eyes. In the chloroplasts, the absorbed light energy is used to drive the chemical reactions that convert carbon dioxide and water into sugar and oxygen. You can think of sugar as a kind of stored chemical energy our bodies can turn into useful work by reacting it with the oxygen we breathe in. Essentially, we're burning sugar and oxygen and using the energy released to power, for example, our muscles. This sugar and oxygen that provides our fuel ultimately comes from leaves. So leaves are our life support system.